box office numbers. So as part of our ongoing efforts to figure out what the public likes and uh, to, so we can see what we can anticipate more of, uh, well, we can officially anticipate more Avatar movies because it's past two billion this week. Yes, yeah, so it's so it is officially profitable. <clears throat> yep. Um, Puss in Boots has crossed three hundred million worldwide, and it's making some very it's it's holding on very nicely, mm -hmm. which is good because I thought this thing was a hideous bomb because uh, its first weekend it made like less than ten million when, but that was because it came out in the middle of that arctic vortex right yeah so i st this is still my favorite trend chart on all of the numbers because they were just <laughs> like going off of that initial data it looked like it was going to plateau here and they just boom boom yeah um aside from things we've been talking about you know i, I still think it's going to be funny when in six months nobody who actually saw avatar the way of water can tell you any of the characters names except for me jake Sully. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I, I think uh, what's her name is uh, Zoe Zaldana's character is Nitiri. I think that Sorry. sounds rightish. Yeah, uh, I saw I saw a thing where like they were saying that she was the first woman to be in four movies that grossed more than two billion dollars. Remember, you to be the first person to be in more than four movies that grossed two billion dollars. It's like okay, Avengers is not on <laughs> Zoe Saldana. No, G no. Gamora was a fine character, but. Well, well, maybe, well, maybe Infinity War, but yeah, but yeah. but but yeah, hey, I hear you. yeah, th those are ensembles, yeah, yes. But uh, as far as other things, um, the anime movie that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Um, and, oh, they have they have the weeb title here. Oh wow, Kiki Joban Tensei Shitara Slime Dataken. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, made a million dollars over the weekend, which yeah, three times as much as quintessential quintuplets. So it tells you the relative uh, relative popularity of it compared to things like Dragon Ball, which made twenty million. Yeah. Um, this is a series I don't have any use for because it never has stakes or or danger. <laughs> yeah. uh, we all know the ones. The, yeah. the one, the, the isekai, where it's like, no, nah, this, what's, what's the plot about? Well, I died, and I have superpowers, and I have a cool village with a bunch of monsters who are my friends. <laughs> that isn't a story. Yeah, <laughs> there's girls with big jubblies. <laughs> do, do you romance any of them? No. <laughs> <laughs> is there an intimidating villain? There is an antagonist of a sort who I will curb stomp as soon as I reach him. <laughs> And I've now saved you the slime isekai experience. It, yes. <laughs> um, also in there is uh, the whale with our good friend Brendan Fraser, yes. who's uh, getting a lot of buzz around that one. Yeah, yeah, getting getting some uh, getting a lot of love that he so um, sorely deserves. Yep. Um, so I kept I kept saying that the movie Women Talking opened itself to uh, up to sec to sexist jokes. Um, well, I guess no one wanted to hear women talking. Five weekends and a million total. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Babylon is over here tanking. Oof. Well, you know when you when you're uh, the opening scene of your movie is a is a. Um... Um, I don't know if I could say it on YouTube, but uh, twenty-minute group love session. It, yes, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. You're probably not going to get a whole lot of people to go see that. Yeah, no, no. <clears throat> yeah, and that's about it as far as far as uh, major releases. Now, Strange World is still in a couple of theaters. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's already on Disney Plus, I think. Yeah, they they dumped it on there ages ago, but that, this is just like the, the the last run theaters. Yeah, more uh, there's been more shakeup in the top twenty watched at home. Which for those at home who haven't or who weren't here, we went over this. Uh, this is the combination of Blu-ray, DVD, Redbox rental, and uh, digital purchases. Mm -hmm. So Ticket to Paradise has jumped up to number one after, and it's been 
it's been out on digital for or for these types of releases for a long time so yeah. it's hanging in there it finally edged out yellowstone which yellowstone is the only tv show i really hear people talking about yeah same here um <clears throat> it's i mean it, it, i mean i i've I, th- I think I talked about this last week, but I mean, from what I've heard, it's a it's a good show. I mean, my, my I think my parents watched it for a little while until it until it went to Paramount Plus, and mm. they enjoyed it. So, yeah, the, I heard this was one where they had it on Peacock, and the people at Paramount were like, "Shit, this is this is a show that people are actually watching. Yank it back, yank it back." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as soon as we're able to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because all these uh, all these streaming companies are kind of incestuous with each other, right? They'll make programs for each other to sell off. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Black Adam, Top Gun, The Woman King is holding in there. Um, yeah. Elvis has moved up the ranks a bit, uh, yeah. probably because it got some Oscar buzz. Yeah. Uh, the one that kind of surprised me was Till just debuted. I can't tell you how surprised I was to discover that this movie had already come out in October and made about ten million dollars internationally. Yeah, I, 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 I'm be honest, I've never even heard of it. It's it's a story of the mom of uh, Edmund Till or Emmett Till, Emmett Till, Emmett, yeah, who, who's uh, Emmett was famously lynched uh, for whistling at a white woman, and. Uh, yeah. it, it was super it, it kind of was super publicized and brought a lot of attention to a lot of what the fuck that was going on in the south at the time mm-hmm. yeah and oh well uh, uh, to break up the tension here d rhino i need to see more waifus in order to be convinced uh, are we are we talking about in uh are we talking about till i mean you know she's she's pretty cute <laughs> it might not be might, might be bad might be bad form to try to pick her up considering her son just got lynched but you know it's, you, uh, yeah, yeah. if you think if you think you got game you can give it a shot <laughs> oh, <laughs> is man. that the darkest joke i've ever told on this show <laughs> I, think, I think it is, I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I, i'm not trying to convince anybody to watch slime isekai it is not a fun time yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyway um <clears throat> So it's basically a civil rights movie. Um, I, I, the reason I thought it hadn't come out yet was because I kept seeing trailers for it. Mm-hmm. And I thought, okay, this is one that's going to get a lot of Oscar love because it seems like the type of movie that, you know, just, just does by its nature. Yeah. I don't think it did. I don't we, think We've it got did. Tar in here, which, yeah. 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 Fall is still hanging in there. It's actually moving up the charts, which is funny for a direct to, uh, well, but basically amounts to a direct to DVD movie. Actually, yeah. no, wait, no, I'm, is that the action movie? Okay, never mind. This is a different movie than I was thinking. Okay, there was some like straight to DVD action movie we had seen in here a while back. Everything, everywhere, all at once is is in there. It's been there there for the whole way along. Because uh, yeah. and I have to imagine that the Oscar buzz around this one is helping. Oh yeah, Knives Out is still in there. We've talked about that, and then yellow, yeah. a bunch of Yellowstone stuff is uh, evening out the uh, the bottom here. Yeah. So I think that the biggest surprise, and, and Daniel, you mentioned this before the show. We'll, we'll see if Ticket to Paradise rides its way to Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that that is a uh, that is definitely a Valentine's Day uh, movie for some people <clears throat> yep not me because i'm not a big julia roberts fan i was always more of a, a what, sandra bullock fan yeah yeah and uh ninja toast says uh everything everywhere all at once is fantastic i've i've heard that yeah i've heard it's really good me too my only hesitancy about it is i am sick to death of multiverse stories mm-hmm. so you can blame Marvel. You can just blame me being like, uh, there have been too many things where it's like, Hey, you know that thing you love? Yeah. Multiverse on top of it. <laughs> yeah. But I want to know what the story is. All of the stories are the story. <laughs> Who are the main characters? They're all the main characters. <laughs> yeah. Like, Oh, which one's Spider-Man? <laughs> well, that little girl is Spider-Man and that Nicholas Cage is Spider-Man and the pig and, is Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's I'll probably get over myself and watch it at some point. I just haven't been ready yet. Yeah. 
But uh, I, I think that about covers the popularity charts for the week. Yes. But you know who's extremely unpopular right now? Uh, yeah, yeah. 